Hello, hello, how are you? Uh, happy 2022. Um, hopefully you're all okay, everybody is well. Um, I feel very short in the seat today. <laughs> um, we're having to go a little bit old school. We've had to resort back to the gimbal and my phone um, and Alex is gonna film for us uh, we, because I suddenly realized this morning that we dismantled obviously all the camera set up so that we could use my dining room, my, my table for Christmas. <laughs> And this morning Drew went off to work and I forgot to ask him to set it all back up. So I've tried to set it up myself and I can't find one of the cameras. So I was just like, no, what am I going to do? Um, but luckily Alex isn't back in uni this until next week. So I grabbed the gimbal quick. I was like, you're going to have to film for me because we're going to have to go old school. So, um, so yeah, we're back to Alex reading your comments. And um, yeah, it's going to be slightly different camera work today, but he's an old pro at this now. He should be fine. Um, did you all have a lovely new year, Christmas new year? Um, I hope you all did. I hope you all got to spend some time with friends or family, or even if you were just cuddled up with your cat in your pajamas watching, did anyone watch the Harry Potter thing? There's so much new stuff on telly. There was the Harry Potter reunion, which I loved. Um, new pottery bake, pottery throwdown has started. There was sewing bees to watch. Um, little man's here. My daughter-in-law's popped in with the uh, little man, so uh, he's just having his lunch. Um, so there might be a little gurgling and all going on over there. Um, he might come and say hello to you in a minute. Um, so yeah, lots and lots to watch on the telly, which was really good. Um, lots of new New Year specials as well. I love the sewing bee ones. I thought they were really good. Um, so how are you all? Who's coming online now? Who's there? We got some you want to come say hello? Hello's from Linda, so Kate gross. and Jean. Hi Linda, hi Jean, hi Kate. He's very gross because he's just had his dinner. Do you want to say hello? You want to say hello, little man? <laughs> Look at you, covered in his... Well, he's not little anymore. Say, so, I'm covered in lunch. Am yes, I? you are. Yes, I am. Who's that? Who's that over there? Is that quite like Alex? You going to say hello? Hi. Hello, baby. Say hello to the ladies. Can you still wave hello? Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Right, mummy's, mummy's, granny's busy, go back to mummy. Go back you. to mummy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we had a very nice, lovely family Christmas, which was lush. Um, spent lots of time with the little sausage. He got very spoiled, even though we were all very good. So, um, so any, who else is there? Is anyone else coming online before we get started? Uh, it's hellos from Barbara, Karen, Tracy. Hello, Lynn. hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um. I haven't got anything new to show you because we're um, we're busy, busy sorting lots of stuff out in the shop. So what I thought we we're going to do today, I'm back on my little resolution of using up fabrics. Sorry, guys, but we're going to do some scrappy blocks today and tomorrow. Things that don't have to be scrappy. You could absolutely cut these out of you know, your stash or buy new fabrics. But I've got so much scrap fabric around the place, little bits and pieces. I was looking for projects to um use some of it up and i found these this block today and the block we're going to do tomorrow which are perfect for scraps perfect for using up those little pieces of fabric you have left over from other projects or the odd you know charm square or layer cake square and stuff so what we're going to do today is we're going to do an altered diamond block which um i really liked actually i thought it was really different um so we're going to do this little block here okay which is an altered diamond so it uses half rectangle triangles um and then we're going to alter the center as well and i just thought it was a bit different it was quite nice um so we're gonna have a little go at that you right al yep yeah everything okay um it's all right he's obviously on a on a trying to check comments and all as well what you'll need for each one of these little blocks and they end up being is it eight and a half i can't remember now my brain's gone yeah, eight and a half by four and a half wide. Okay, so eight and a half by four and a half wide. You will need to start with, for each one of those blocks, you're going to need two rectangles, which are three inches by six inches, two in a background, you know, in your pattern fabric, three inches by six inches, which is why this is brilliant for using up your scraps, because it doesn't have to be all the same these could be you know if you've only got one in a three inch by six inch you can use the other one you know on the opposite side okay so <laughs> your man's very loud <laughs> he's telling the dog off <laughs> he's not, not... this is going to be interesting isn't it mate <laughs> 
Um, you'll also, if you're going to alter the centres, you're going to need four one and a half inch squares. And again, these don't have to be all the same colour. They could be, it could be really scrappy. And each one of those little quadrants could be a different colour. All right. So it's a really nice little block. I'm going to do it all in the two colours. Okay. But um, like I said, scrappy it up. Make, you know, or do every block different. Your background and your pattern fabric could be different on every single one. So, right. Oh, we're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to come over here now for a, a moment. Okay. So what first thing you want to do is pair them up. Are there any questions or comments then before we get started? Anybody having a chat? Uh, there's a bunch more hellos and happy new years. Ah, oh, hello, hello. Happy new year, everyone. Oh, there we go. I feel a bit better now. I'm a bit higher on the seat. Um, right, so we're going to pair these up, okay? So I've got one of my background fabrics with one of my pattern fabrics. And I'm going to put these right, so they're right sides up. That's right side, that's right side, okay? I'm going to do that on both ones, like that and like that. And you need to cut them differently. You need to cut them at each pair at a different angle to get your diamond. So this one I'm going to cut, and I'm doing this face, God, this is going back old school now, doing it facing towards you, okay? So you're going to cut from top left to bottom right, like that. And this one, opposite way, so top right to bottom left, like that, okay? So I'm going to do that, and you're going to cut through both bits. <laughs> little chatty man over there there we go like that so you've got two going like that and then this one is going to go the other way so I want to go that way on this one so that that cut is going the opposite, di opposite directions otherwise you won't get your diamond you're getting a totally different other pattern but you won't get your diamond all right I'm going to work with just these ones to start with so I'm going to put one on one like that like that and then we're going to swap those over so we've got a pink and a white and a pink and a white okay like that we stitch these together so right sides together i'm going to pop them like that you want to offset it a, just a weeny bit okay you know like you do um when you add in this sort of setting triangles or anything on just offset it a weeny bit like that and i'm going to stitch down i'm going to do the same on this one so i'm going to offset it just a weeny bit you don't, you know, it's about a quarter of an inch, but it doesn't matter too much because we have got to square these up, okay? So we're just going to offset them. So are we going to go over to the uh, sew machine? I was going to follow me. I've got my quarter inch foot on and I'm just going to stitch down, okay? Just go steady right at the beginning, obviously, because if you've got that little tiny bit there, it can get all chewed up. So just take the first couple of stitches nice and slow, okay? There we go. So anybody there, anybody having a chat, anybody telling me what, did you do any sewing? Did you watch the sewing bee? Did you watch Pottery Throw Dad? Did you watch Harry Potter? What did you all get up to over Christmas and New Year? Anything exciting? Okay, there we go. And then let's just get that one in line. And then slide that one under and do exactly the same. Nope, there we go. So, any questions there? Anybody having a chat? Uh, Janice says, uh, talking to her about Jonah. Oh, <laughs> um, he is so beautiful. Love to see happy, happy, smiley babies. Oh, he is. He's an absolute little darling. We do. Uh, he's an absolute time waster as well, mind. You never get anything done when he's about because all you want to do is play with him. But he is a sweetheart. He's a little sweetie. So he still doesn't sleep. Still keeps his poor mum awake all night. So you are going to iron these towards the coloured fabric, okay? So just make sure you set your seams, okay? Like that, set your seams, and then just very gently roll them out, okay? Like that. And you should end up with a little half, half rectangle triangle. This is a different way of doing the half rectangle triangles that we do when we make the HRT quilts, because they make two in one go. But you don't actually want to make two in one go with this because you want them in different directions. So we're going to do, we're doing, that's why we're doing them singly. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the other pair. But remember, it's going to be going the other way. So let's swap those two over like that. And again, offset them just a weeny bit. Like that. And offset this one again, just a weeny bit. Like that. And stitch, I'm going to stitch those down, okay? This is well, this would be a perfect project, I think. One of those, you know, with your scraps, 
when you've finished another project, cut out the pieces and make one block and put away for another time, you know, and then just keep making blocks after you've done other projects. I am I'm desperate to get rid of all my scraps at the moment. I really am. It's, it's out of control, it is. Out of control. So I'm looking for lots and lots of blocks and things to... Uh... Jen, will you go and lie down, lovely? The dog's driving me potty as well. She's padding around, going clip, 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 clip. There we go. Okay. Clip that one down. So I'm back on the craft store on Saturday. Um, again, I'm going to iron these towards the dark fabric. All right, so I'm going to flip that one over like that. Just gently press that towards the dark fabric. And then again on this one. Yeah, I'm back on the craft store on Saturday at 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. So it's going to be a really late drive home. Um, but thank you for sending in all your pictures. So in our little book that book that we've we've got going on the Chanda, we've got all your pictures in the like the gallery and on the front cover and stuff. It's uh, it's looking really lovely. I'm really pleased with it. So um, yeah, we've put together the isolation block. We've put together some of our favourite blocks into um, into like a booklet to do on the the craft store. So right, we're going to square these down, and you want to square them down to four and a half by two and a half. Okay. Now you can buy special rulers which I found out yesterday, um, which are half rectangle rulers and you can literally buy them in a whole range of sizes. You don't need to, to be honest, you don't need to, but um, I'm gonna just do this with a normal ruler. So the first things I'm gonna do is just, so I want them to be two, two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to trim them off to two, two and a half. You don't, just get it vaguely in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? It's just a vague in the middle, all right? So, two and a half, so I'm trimming off approximately the same amount. It really won't matter, okay? Because this is next bit is the bit we're going to do the, like, the measurements on, okay? We want them to be four and a half this way, but you need to play around with your sizing. I'm actually going to use a different ruler for this because I found this ruler much easier. Hopefully you can see. I don't know if Al can get up nice and close. On my ruler, the bit that I'm looking for... Is the quarter inch by quarter inch mark where those two lines there cross okay so that's a quarter inch in and a quarter inch down it's just that little mark there okay now that's the bit that I'm going to be playing around with and that's the bit I want to get on the diagonal so I'm going to turn this like this okay and I'm going to line up along the edge there and I'm going to move this down so can you see I've got the long edge there and I've moved it down so that quarter inch by quarter inch is on the diagonal. Okay, so it's now sat directly on that diagonal. And I'm going to trim off that bit. Now you're going to think, ah, no, I've trimmed off my point. But it's fine, you need it for the sewing. Okay, so that's the little trick with it. It's finding that quarter inch by quarter inch mark, making sure this is in line with that edge, that two and a half inch you just cut. Slide it down till it meets the diagonal. Okay. I'm going to turn it like that now, and now I can do four and a half inches exactly that way. Okay, and again, that's going to look like you've chopped off your off your point, but you need those bits. All right, you need that little extra bit there and there. So we're going to do that again. So I'm going to do the two and a half first. So get it approximately in the centre. <laughs> Somebody is trying to work his way over to see me. You can't, my darling. <laughs> there we go. Two and a half by two and a half that way. And then we're going to do that same thing again. So find that quarter by quarter. Line up the edge of the ruler with that, the nice straight edge you've just done. And then move it down. Move it down, keeping it in line here. Like that until that quarter inch by quarter inch is hitting that diagonal. Okay. And then I can chop off that bit. Turn it and do my four and a half. So is that making sense, guys? Is everything okay? You were with, you're right with what I've done there. I shout if not, okay? Ooh. Oh, that's my scissors on the floor. <laughs> I tell you what, it's very chaotic here today. <laughs> it really is. So I'm going to square up these two. Al, who's having a chat? Is anybody... Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same on these two. Square them up the same way. We'll keep it on here so you can see what I'm doing. But Al, who's there? He's having a chat. Uh, Sonia says, I'm looking forward to seeing this booklet. Ah, cool. 
yes uh we've been i spent the last two days like reformatting patterns and trying to sort it all out and everything it's been um been interesting right hang on what am i doing i've lost which way around i'm working now that way there we go <laughs> i had to work that out then there we go so i'm going to keep that in line there and i'm going to move it down to the quarter uh where is it there like that there we go um yeah i've spent the last two days literally just for reformatting all the patterns and making hopefully you know making sure there's no spelling mistakes on any of the patterns um says proofread it for me as well so yeah it's uh we thought it'd be like oh yeah all the patterns are written it'll be a nice easy little thing to do but it'll be really nice to have everybody's pictures and stuff in there <laughs> wasn't easy at all it took ages <laughs> but i am pleased with it actually it does look really nice okay and then i'm going to do the same again so i'm just going to get that quarter inch by quarter inch down on line that up and then slide it down there we go like that and then i can do my four and a half like that is this making sense is everybody with me on how i've squared those up so you've now got four rectangle uh, four little rectangles half rectangle triangles that are two going one way two going the other everybody okay with that yeah any questions there al uh, anybody having yeah. a chat with me uh lynn says watch uh watch the sewing bee uh, that was about it for TV. Lots oh. of Prime and Netflix. Ah, but yeah, we didn't watch. Well, we we don't really have terrestrial. We've got like Netflix and now TV and stuff. But uh, but yeah, I did watch Sew and Bee. So <laughs> Are you you just want to sit on Granny's lap, don't you? You can't, my darling. Now you could put these together, so you don't have to do more than that. Imagine if these were all different colours. If you made lots and lots and lots of of these, you could just put these together and they would be like different colours and stuff which would be really funky and you could put them together like a little four patch different colours but you could alter them if you want to you could alter just two or you could alter all of them <laughs> is he trying to... little man is now trying to eat Uncle Alex's head <laughs> right what we're going to do is we're going to put a little line on the back of all of these okay so we're going to go right the way across diagonal this is if you want to alter it. I quite like them. You could alter some and not others. You know, play around with them, make them make them different. There we go. And like just diagonal line right the way across each of these little. These were one and a half inch squares. These ones. Okay. Like that. Oh, baby, doesn't make anything easy, does he? <laughs> what are you doing, monkey? Okay. If you want to alter them. You're going to put these down in this bottom um, corner, rather top corner. OK, so if we keep them like this, so in the coloured corner and you want the line to run the same way as the diagonal. So we're going to do that like that. Here we go. I'm going to pop a pin in there because these are a little quite little pieces just to keep it all down. OK, and then I'm going to I'm going to just do opposite ones on this one, I think. So again, I'm going to put that in the corner, but just making sure the line is running in the same direction. OK, let's just do opposites and see what happens. OK, so I'm going to go back up, back over to the machine and I'm just going to stitch. I'm not going to stitch on the line. I'm going to stitch just a teeny, literally one thread this side of the line. OK, it'll give you a need to finish. You can square it up. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. OK, so I'm going to sew just this side of the line just that side of the line okay over we go out any other questions comments there uh, uh, jean says yeah i'm still with you yeah everybody okay everybody uh understand what i'm doing what i'm gonna do is when uh drew gets home this evening from work i'm gonna get him to set all the cameras and all back up and uh we'll be back to uh with the overhead and all because uh well, so it's very nice that Alex can do this for me. He can't do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in Thursday. Back in Thursday, yeah, are just, you? Just got a message. Uh, fair enough. There we go. So, I've sewn down those. Now, first things I would do is before you cut that off, is just fold that over. And just double check you've done it right. Because once you've cut it off, you can't really do anything about it you'd have to you'd waste the whole thing so i know that they're going in the right direction so that's fine so we can cut this little bit off 
So again, scissors or rotary cutter entirely up to you, like that. And like that, just cut off that excess. There we go. Give that a really nice little press now, like that. There we go. So you do need to just square, re-square them back up, but it's no odd angles now. All you're gonna do is just, hang on, let's get this the right way round. It's gonna be four and a half by two and a half, like that, and just get rid of any th bit that's stretched or moved as you've pressed it, okay? And the same on this one. So four and a half by two and a half. Oh, come here. <laughs> Little man, you can't come play. Not on there. There we go. Four and a half. See that one is tiny, tiny little bit. Okay. So I've altered. I'm just going to alter the two for now because I think that gives it a different look again. <clears throat> and then we put these together. We put these together as a four patch like that. Okay. <laughs> gives it a bit of a different look, doesn't it? because that was the original one i did go a bit wonky i i'm not gonna i wasn't gonna unpick it for that little bit but you get the idea if if you did all four but let's do a two so i'm gonna put that one on that one and sew it together so i'm gonna line that up like that if you're gonna do them on all of them just make sure that you're kind of lining up those little center pieces i didn't when i did the that little sample piece i was like meh and it got I didn't pin it and I should have. Okay, so I'm going to sew those together. I'm going to back over here. There we go. Like that. And away we go. I suppose you're back actually on Thursday, Al, into college, because they were talking about doing online again for a couple of weeks, weren't they? But. Luckily, they don't, don't appear to be doing that, which is good. Yeah. Um, they said it might change, but Thursday. They're heading for Thursday, yeah. fair enough. Tom's supposed to be back on Thursday as well into school, so uh, yeah, we well, shall see. You're, you're back in school on Thursday as well. Yeah, fair enough. So we're going to iron these out. Now, this is one of the few times I think I would probably iron something open. Now I probably, you probably wouldn't need to if you're only going to do like one, okay? But if you've got, like, if you've altered both sides, there's a lot of bulk here. So I would probably, uh, which is what I did here, I did iron them open. I don't do that very often, but I do think it, it helps it lie a bit flatter. Um, actually, I don't really need to with this one because I've only altered the one. So let's do that. There we go. And if we iron them just towards the plain fab, the plain triangle, like that. Just make sure that's going over properly. There we go. And then you can just nest those and put those together, which we'll do very, very quickly like that. But I would play around with them. I'd alter some, not alter others. You know, play around with them. See, <laughs> see what you can do with them. All the way down. Oh, that was very fast, wasn't it? Probably didn't need to be going quite that fast. Make sure everything's tucking under nicely. And then we can open that out. There we go. See, that one probably doesn't. No, do you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not a fan of opening seams, but I did feel the other one needed to. Here we go. Like that. Give it a really good press. I give it a good starch and press then. Okay, so we're going to just pop over here, here, and that you can see you can play around with them, and that, and you've got by doing that trimming bit, you've got the uh, your seam allowance here and here, so that when you join them together, you're gonna your diamonds are gonna meet beautifully, aren't they? You're not gonna lose any of your points. So, but play around. It's one of those things. I like the idea of using up lots of scrappy bits. You know, I think it might be quite interesting if you use different background fabrics. Do some in different colourways, you know, maybe put the, the dark on here and the light in there. You know, it might make a nice scrappy quilt. So play around with the centres. So there we go. So that's altered diamonds today. Um that was a quick little one today as well. It's because I didn't have any stuff to show you. <laughs> Come on then, Sorry. monkey. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you skate. 
That's him crawling as fast as he can to get to me, isn't it? You just want, you don't actually want me, you just want all the stuff, dangerous stuff that you're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> all the dangerous stuff you're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go because it's a little bit chaotic here with the dog and the baby. What are you doing, Cheeky? Um, we're gonna be back tomorrow at one o'clock. <laughs> back tomorrow at one o'clock. <laughs> Can't concentrate. Um, with Wonky Star, we've got a block of the week tomorrow for Wonky Star. And then Sarah's back and she's gonna do some crochet. You know how she swore off doing all crochet. She's gonna do some crochet for you on Thursday. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. So say bye bye. Say bye. Hiya, <laughs> Chiggy. Say bye-bye. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>